<laughs> for the filmmaker. Oh, really? Here, all right. There. Okay. Oh man, we forgot to drop the earth truck. No, I didn't want to drop it. I, I don't. I don't like the drop test. We're gonna go back and I'm just gonna it's cut not, that in. It's not fair. We're gonna try it all at once. Or we should do individually and then. You, how about you pick up this one, I'll pick up this one, and we'll do it at the same right. time. All right. The height. Same height. One, two, three. Oh. 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 Wow. My one, my one rolled over. Okay. And then Just the small pieces, like wait. I said, before came off. Is this you or me? That's you. Where was that? Oh, up here. Not too bad, right? No, no. Not uh, horrible. Better than I expected. But there you go. Yeah. Y'all happy now? My forehead is not shiny. Hello? It's okay. I think we'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Whoops. How take, dare you? Take that, to put that off out of frame. Same. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and this is... Sean, a.k.a. The Silver Spleen. Just like that, we never left, but we're here for you to do exactly. this review. Yes. Yeah, cool. And just like the last video, this is another Wandering Earth review, but this one is official. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, the, this is official. I mean, we're not, you know, you know what I mean. We're official, man. Well, to each other. Wait. Happy anniversary. How many years now? But I do have a gift for you. <laughs> You'll love this one. And this one actually is great. And I wish I had this earlier for your reviews. So Sean, is the official Wandering Earth. Can you guys see that? The badge. This actually came with this thing. Look at that. Wow. Now you know you're super special when you get this set. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it broke off already. <laughs> and by the way, if you guys didn't know, Sean was actually in a Hong Kong film. I have to mention this because was it's in... actually really cool, right? What do you mean? I was in, a, I was in a bunch of them. Well, the, the most recent one that you're like a, a referee in a boxing ring. I, I no, no, I'm that. not a referee. I'm just the ring announcer. Uh, oh, yeah, because The Wandering Earth is on Netflix. Watch it. Please don't use the English audio. Uh, but there's also another Hong Kong film, not well, another Chinese language film on Netflix called We Are Legends, and I get to play the ring announcer. Oh, it's actually on there. I, I gotta go watch it now. I didn't know it was on Netflix. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, nobody I, show... I know in Hong Kong watches Hong Kong movies except me. So, all right, there. You're actually in that trailer, right? Here, I'm gonna put your face Very like, slightly, right here. Very slightly, yeah. There, go watch Sean right now on Netflix. Yes. Are you on any other films on Netflix? Uh, not that I know. Well, uh, I don't know if you can still watch Shockwave. It's hard because Netflix Hong Kong is very different than Netflix USA. Uh, there's an Andy Lau film called oh, yeah, Shockwave, Shockwave that, I'm, that I'm in way too much of if you watch that movie. Well, I gotta go back and watch that too. Yeah. Sorry, man. This that's is, okay. You know. No, it, that's what happens. Check this out. Here yes. we go. We're gonna dive right into this right yes. now. Yes. So this is Semble Blocks. A Frank Guo film, The Wandering Earth. Military truck. Number 107005. 811 pieces. And I like here on the manual that it has this print that says the Wandering Earth Project for all mankind. Very nice. Maybe I'm silly like this. I'm glad that this is an official thing. It just makes me feel better. You, so, know? you know, if you don't want to buy the other one that we reviewed, you can buy this one. They do have the Earth truck. It's actually bigger, I think, but we haven't gotten it in yet. Yeah. So I get on that next. And for this particular one, I did get the box. I can show you guys the box real quick. Uh -huh. There we go. Look at that nice little box. Very yeah. nice. And it shows up here. Okay. What I got for Sean, right yeah. there. Yeah. Our engagement badge. But there you go, that's the front. It's exactly the same as on the back. Well, that was the back, sorry. I showed the back first. Oh. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Why do you think we're engaged? <laughs> All right, so there's the box. For Semble Block, this was again requested by Hail Hydra, who I guess is going to be in the set too. Or Hal, it should be Hal. I think I said it wrong last time. Hal, Hal Hydra. I said Hail, Hale, right? H A I L? I think it's H A L E. Hail. Either way, don't, don't. Yeah. I, I know what you're thinking, don't yeah. go there. So Semble Block actually made nine vehicles, so you have a choice of nine of them to get. Sean doesn't remember any of them. Or, you know, I think the movie only showed like a couple, right? Yeah, I mean, in, in the movie, uh, I'm sure they, I, I'd like to think they built at least one that would actually move, but it might have been a model. All right, so this is a military truck. Yes. Well, because basically in the story, without giving away too much, 
There are these civilian people who are one part of the story. And then because there is a problem, because let's face it, if there wasn't a problem, you wouldn't have a movie. And the military is given a mission that I don't want to talk about because I want you to watch the movie yourself. Now it's extremely cold on the earth. So that's why they have these vehicles that are very big and obviously have lots of nice heating inside them. Um, I'm not exactly sure why this has what would appear to be an air defense system yeah. on top of it because there aren't really many things flying around, but there's a couple airplanes. Yeah, you know, I got, I got the, the, the missiles or whatever these things are. Wow. They slot in there okay. and I lost one of them it's somewhere here in the office. I picked up the set and it just shot out somewhere. So sorry, it does fire out. Sweet. So you pull it back and- All Right, so you can trick the cat. Come here, kitty. There we go. And then you just push down on it. See if we can aim it at the main camera there. If we can do the honors of just flicking it down. <laughs> Build-wise, this is much smaller than the last one, mm. and it is sturdy. It has a little bit of studs along the top. A little bit, but, but not bad. But all stickers. Okay, all stickers, yeah, as opposed to print, which, yeah, I like so, print. I don't, what can I say? I know, me too, but the stickers are actually pretty okay, as quality goes, and it rolls just fine. But from an outlook, the wheels look kind of ugly how they did these rims on here. Yeah, but that's what they look like in the movie, so... But if you take it off, it looks looks better. I mean, you take the gray, the light gray piece out. I mean... I know it looks like the thing in the movie, but it's like but it protrudes out like so much. It looks cheap. I know, but maybe that's what they wanted. The road's just fine. Tires are slightly loose underneath. You can see what it looks like there underneath. Okay. Oh, look, there's an extra sticker down there. I put that there because I didn't know where else to put the sticker. It's a symbol block company logo. Oh, okay. See? This is what it looks like from the outside. You nice. saw the top already? Yes. I do like that they did kind of decorate it so it has some detail to it. Yes. I'm not even sure what this thing is. I mean, it's a hard thing because like, just like the other truck, I mean, it, it's gray. So you, you got to find ways to zhuzh it up as they say in the UK. This is funny. They put a crowbar there on the side. And I guess these are like smoke grenade things on the side. Something I have no idea. It's all like I don't, decoration. I don't know why there's nothing on the surface of the earth anymore. So. On the front here, mm -hmm. this opens up. Aha! Oh, very nice. I like this blue. I don't know what that is, like the glass design decoration. Trans transparent, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know why they put that there. Oh, it actually looks pretty okay when you yeah, look it Yeah, I, I don't recall this occurring in the film, but I think it's just sort of artistic license uh, for the builders. And then this can open up as well. <gasps> oh, that's nice. So okay. you do have an interior on the inside. Yes, well, as opposed to an interior on the outside. Yeah, but there's no seats in there. No. Well, you got a steering wheel. Yeah. It's... But at least they have two stickers. Yeah. Oh, those are stickers. Yeah, those are stickers. Man. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. This piece here also comes off like so. Kind of. You're going to jack up my set there. Like that. Okay. And reveals nothing on the inside. Well, there really is nothing. But at least it opens up and on the back as well. Here, it just opens up. Okay. There. Yeah. That's nice. And. We can take this piece off right. like that. Yes. There. And reveal the vast emptiness within. The vast emptiness. And this also comes with that. Aha! The re the starter module for the Earth engines. But this one is but plain. Yeah, it this, doesn't it light doesn't, up. It doesn't light up. So That's the other one wins for lighting up. Yeah. It's Bye. like throwing a starter engine down a hallway. <laughs> there you go. Does this appeal to the fans or is it just like... I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I would guess that it does. Again, you take one look at this and go, oh, Wandering Earth. So that they've succeeded on that level. But overall, it's actually pretty cool. I had no problems putting this one together. Assemble is actually pretty good, but it just sucks that those are all stickers. Yeah. And there's no real surprises like the Earth truck. But it'll be interesting to see how the big Earth truck from this brand does. And let's just do a drop test right now before okay. I forget. Here. One, two. All right, but that's not... Yeah, that wasn't that that's, to be expected. And these yeah. are the parts that do come off, so... Right. And it, yeah, it kind of fell over. So. All right, All right so here's the minifigures. Okay, good. Very cool. I ah. like how they're on little stands. You have three of yes. them. If they don't want to wear their helmets, they have right. hair for the girl, okay. for the guy, and this guy has a mohawk. Again, because I've seen the film at least twice. I'm enjoying this for a couple of reasons. One, they've managed... Well, actually, those two are better at it. They've managed to make these figures evocative of actual cast figures, kind of like the other set did. They've done a pretty good job with creating something that looks like the helmets they wear when they're outside. I really appreciate that. I like the way that they've done printing right on the figure. 
right? Very detailed. In fact, my glasses aren't even working properly. Of course, that's what I get for buying $2 reading glasses, but that's not my story. But again, the level of detail of these is very impressive, very nice. Uh, this one is Danielle Mac. Yes, Danielle. Now for Danielle, she's got this thing on the back. Actually, it's yeah. really cool. I don't know what that is. I, I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'd have to watch the movie, but it's, it's kind of that stuff that they do in movies where you have these things that look really cool, but in real life they're made of plastic so nobody would care. Now the commander who has a somewhat, yeah, same helmet, um, but again, individualized printing, which is nice, and a very stern look and a goatee, which I'm always a big fan of both of those, quite nice. And the commander is... LT Chambers. Aha, Lieutenant Chambers, very nice. Very cool. I don't think his name was Lieutenant Chambers in the movie, but uh, what are you gonna do? And then this guy here with the handheld minigun, which, you know, uh, for all the things we can blame Jesse Ventura, he's really the person that started this cinematic trend of, of actually having a handheld minigun in a movie, which is silly because there's no way you'd ever be able to carry anywhere near enough ammunition. And if you don't believe me, watch The Wandering Earth, you'll see exactly what I mean. It works cinematically, but in real life, it's like, nah, I don't think so. And this is... The Brick President 17. Aha! which would be Woodrow Wilson. But these are very impressive. This, to me, the detail on these figurines kind of makes up for the lack of, of detail, especially on the interior of this right. thing. But these are nice, and I like these little stands. I, I don't know if the stands may have been something else in a prior life where they actually designed them, but this is quite nice. But it, there again, as an official build, you kind of would expect them to do that. Right. All right, you guys, it's Dimension Times. Here's my beautiful gray base plate. I'm gonna kind of put this here and kind of estimate this, all right? It is around 29 studs in length. Let's check the width. It is kind of around 13 studs by width. It depends, you know, if you're gonna add these parts to the end of it. But there you go, just an idea. Now let's check the height. Break out your one by four bricks, here we go. I'm gonna try to measure from the top of this, whatever that thing is, and put it around there. It's roughly around there. That is 14 bricks in height. One last thing is our roads. Here's a little road for you guys. Yeah, it's a little bit big for the road, look at that. It's a bit big for your city, but just so you guys can see that visually. Here, I'll even put a second road here so we can see what this guy looks like. Cruising down the street. Beep, beep. Fire them rockets. So there you go, there's your dimensions. Vehicles are only gonna get bigger than this. Good luck, you guys. So there you guys go, uh -huh. the three figures. Very nice. And symbol blocks, military yes. truck from the Wandering Earth. And we'll get- A Frank Guo film. Yeah, Frank Guo film. Yes. And hopefully we'll get the Earth truck pretty soon. Yeah. So there you go. More trucks. So this is available on breakmeupscotty.com and everywhere else that you can find it. So yes, and please be. watch the Wandering Earth on Netflix with the Chinese audio and the English subtitles and turn off, what is it, motion smoothing. I think that's probably the, the problem so I'm gonna turn on motion smoothing and watch no, it in don't, English. Don't. I can't wait. Don't. It's not fair. All right, you guys. That's it for now, yeah? Yeah. All right. Much. All right. So until please. next time. Yes. Brick him up. Let's get out of here. But how many times have you watched this film? Uh, twice. Okay. I saw the film once in China on a huge screen, and then I watched it recently again on Netflix. Uh, Rafi and I did a full-length commentary. Oh, cool. So. so you can jump on his channel. I'll link it in yes. the description and everything. And you can but watch me talk. Watch me watch a movie. Boy, is that exciting. Or you could watch the movie and just leave me on in the background. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's a cool idea. Sure. So you can trick the cat. Come here, kitty. All well, the balls inside. Just yeah. take the ball out. And now the truck's voice is much higher. Yo, dear, check it out. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I've been waiting for and what I've been wanting to show you. Finally. Ah, uh, Scotty, it looks okay. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. What is it? I'm not quite sure myself, but it looked really cool. And I got this really cool outfit. Don't you like it? I guess, but I still have no idea what it does. Yeah, me neither, but let's check it out. Let's try to figure out how to get in this thing. Oh, I think I found a switch over here. I'll use my nose to push it. Hang on. Oh, nice. Now we can go inside and drive this thing out. Come on, dear. Let's get inside here. There's nothing here. It's just a screen and a steering wheel. Most important thing is we have a steering wheel. You don't even have a chair. It's all good. I'll stand. 
See if we can start this thing up. Let's see where it's a switch. How do we turn this thing on? There it is. Come on. Start up. You can do it. Dang it. Stop starting up, man. Well, that sucks. This is a piece of junk. What the heck is this? A ball? I don't want to play ball. Scotty, there's nothing here. But look, there is this. Whoa. Now, I didn't see that here last time. It's not even the same suit. Big Scotty must have put that here by mistake then. Look on the back, man. It's like a real jetpack. This thing can fly. Dear, you thinking what I'm thinking? Not really. Let me strap onto the suit. Okay, now, let me grab you by the head here, and we're gonna fly out of here, and on to the next set. You ready? Ah, uh, Scotty, I kind of feel unsafe, but if you say so. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. I'm scared, you guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Here we go.